thank you uh, everyone for joining this session uh, in this today's session we are going to take a overview uh, uh, about how to build the jifer applications with yocto build system so me and anush are going to uh, present this session so before we start uh, uh, my name is navin i am uh, i work as operating system developer at intel i'm the maintainer of uh, meta jifer and meta icon layers and i actively uh, contribute in uh, bsp layers for intel platforms anuj i think uh, an anuj should be joining well so uh, anuj also a uh, worker as an operating system developer at intel and he is a uh, mi teammate uh he's the maintainer of uh, vsp layers for uh uh vsp layer for intel platforms he is he is the maintainer of meta dpdk meta qt and couple of layers and he also actively contribute in yocto project uh, development so i think uh, so we'll move to next okay so in outline uh, we uh, first are uh, the beginning of this session we will have a quick uh, introduction about yocto project so not much in detail then we will go to uh, uh, a meta jifer layer and we'll see to what are uh, the features this layer provides and then we will follow a step by step procedure to build jifer applications for qmu and how to run on uh, these application qmu and at at the end of this session we will uh, have a huge case in that uh, we will build jifer as a virtual machine for epon hyperwire okay so uh, yocto project was uh, yocto project is a uh, very popular project and it provides a set of tools that help us to create linux based images for embedded systems it is supported by a very large active community that uh, uh that make sure uh, the yocto project remains at the latest and stable releases of of uh, uh, latest version of all tools and libraries that it uh, maintain okay so uh, there are terminology we are not going to cover so that will come throughout this session so first is layers so layers are basically uh, the repositories that isolate the metadata which which is in form of uh, configuration file or recipes uh, so it isolate in the from uh, it could be based on the cpu architecture or it could be based on the functionality so having a multiple layers uh, help us to create a clean and build environment so next is recipes so recipes are the extension files with the dot bb extension so dot bb is present here with bib so uh, so these files tells the build system from where to download the source for this particular piece of software how to configure compile and deploy then comes bitbake so bitbake is it in the heart of uh, uh, a build system so that basically parse all the layers and recipes create the task schedule them for the execution okay so next is meta jifer so meta jifer uh, so we already know that jifer uh, provides a build tool that we call west so that does the repository management and which also provide a command line interface for compilation and deployment of the jifer application so similarly in parallel uh, yocto project provide uh, using meta jifer yocto project provides a way to build the jifer applications so uh, 
we uh, so we when we see the direct structure of this meta jiffer it have two internal layers one is meta jiffer core and bsp core have recipes for to build the jiffer kernel and it have uh, recipes for the applications that we want to build it also uh, so so jiffer so application recipes basically have the uh the point of source from where it need to download the source uh, applications uh, that are different uh, that are part of the jiffer jiffer repo and the distribution uh, is specific so we have a configuration that we call distro configuration that have our project specific uh, configuration for example meta jiffer build with uh, a new lib uh, new lib c library so that can that that such configuration we keep in our uh, distro configuration then comes uh, meta jiffer bsp layer so that layer have a uh, layer have board configuration we call it machine configurations so machine configurations have the architecture specific configuration that tell the build system for which architecture the machine and the images should be built okay so we'll move next yeah uh, so uh, so uh, meta jiffer already have support for a number of machine configuration including arm and x86 architecture boards so uh, then it also provide a ui, UI interface for configuring the uh, general uh, to configure the jiffer kernel using menu config we we have, we have a demo also later part by default meta jiffer build with the uh, yocto build tool chain but uh, jiffer also provide a uh, sdk so meta jiffer provide a provision to build uh, uh, either with the uh, uh, jiffer sdk or by default yocto tool chain then it have a qmu support for the development purpose and uh, there are uh, at the moment there are three tools are supports are available for placing dfu pyocd and bosec so anyone who is using jiffer know should know about them okay so uh, now uh, we are going to follow some steps to how to build the jiffer applications uh, for qmu so uh, we are going to build a hello world application and at the end of this one we'll try to uh, run also uh, that uh, jiffer ig hello world uh, application qmu so for that first we need to do layer setup then there will be uh, there we need to do build configurations and uh, that if we want to enable some uh, configuration for jiffer kernel that we will also do using min config then uh, we will build it and at the end we will uh, try to run on um, qmu okay so uh, in the layer setup we need to clone the pokey repo so pokey is basically a reference uh, distribution and so it basically have the build system contain build system and uh, uh, all the uh, metadata that uh, that is uh, uh, sufficient to get started to build our customized image and the second we need to clone meta jiffer a meta jiffer uh, have some dependency on some python libraries and tools so these are coming from meta open embedded layer so we need to clone that too so once we clone it so pokey provides some script that does a, a build environment setup for us so once we source it it creates a a a build directory so under build directory there will be a uh, conf in that inside this one there are two configuration file will be there bb layers and local so bb layers configuration in that what are the layers we want to include in our build so that should be listed there so uh, we can we can add either manually in bb layers or we can use the bitbake layers command to do that 
So in third one, so these are the big big commands. So that uh, if we execute them, it will list what are uh, what are the layers you want to include in our uh, big big layers. So local conf have uh, what are the configuration that is required for our uh, for our application or for so that kind of our user specific configuration we keep in local dot com. Okay. So in local dot com we need to uh, set two variables. What is machine? Machine is basically we need to tell the build system for which machine configuration the image should be built. So we have for QMU we have the um, machine configuration, the file name QMU dash x thirty six dot com. So we need to define that. And the distro variable is we in MetaJai provides a Jai for a distro configuration. So is uh, that the configuration name is Zypher. So we need to set it that way. Second is uh, uh, that is optional. If you want to build for as Zypher SDK toolchain, so we need to set this Zypher toolchain variant to Zypher. If you don't set it, by default it will build for uh, with Yocto toolchain. And the third is if if uh, for uh, for for uh, if. Uh, for example, we int for Intel, there are number of Intel boards, and we have for all these boards, we have a common machine configuration. So, using common con machine configuration, we can build for different boards. So, there is a variable that called Jifer dashboard. If we set it for a particular board, then image will be will be built for that board. For example, here, if you want to build for Intel L Cartlib, so we need to set. If you want to some other board like Upsquared or Elder Lake or After Lake, then we, we do the same for in Jifer board variable. Okay. So this is all the configuration we need to do. So once we do that, then we need to execute the bit by command and the uh, the recipe the uh, the application name. So so this so we call it the target image. So here, our target image is our our application name. So application name comes from the what is the recipe name for our application we created. So bit big Jaffer, hello world. So once we execute, then on successful of this build, so the uh, binaries will be uh, created and deploy at the deploy directory and un, uh, under temp dr. So once this is created, now we can just run using. Uh, we can run this image uh, in QMU using the run QMU command. We need to pass the machine name and it should run. So I have a demo here. So let, let me switch to that. So here first as local.com. So we need to set the machine configuration to our QMU and the distro to our distro configuration refer. And have a look into uh, bblayers.com. So uh, this is how the layer should be listed here. So this meta e and meta python comes from meta open embedded. When this configuration is done, then we will like, we need to build the hello world image. So it will take a while, so I'll do fast forward. So it does con do configure, compile, and we deploy. Now build is successful. So now we can run in 
kilometer using one kilometer comma. So here we can see this Jai for OS is 3.6.0 and this hello world for QMU x86. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Let's switch back to slide. Okay, so let's move to next. Yeah. So MetaJai for uh, have a support for a UI interface for Jai for kernel configuration. So to do that with the Bitbake and our uh, application image name and then hyphen C and the menu config. So I have a demo too for that. So let me switch to that. Okay, so bit back and our recipe name hyphen C menu config. So in this example, we can see the board selection is QMU x86. And in this demo, I'm going to enable some debug configuration for Jaffer kernel. Yeah, this is pretty much as doing menu config in uh, Linux kernel. So once the configuration had changed, build system already know the configuration change. So it force the recompilation of the application. So it will throw the warning to So now you can see here, uh, it's throwing the menu config has changed, so the compile will be forced. So we can see when we're trying to when trying to build it again, it will force the compilation again. Yeah, we can see the do compile is in execution. So uh, okay, so I'll stop it now here and we'll move back to slides. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this sums up uh, how, this sums up how we can build Jai for applications uh, how we can configure the Jaffer kernel and how we can use the QMU support for our development using the Yocto build system. Now, uh, to take a uh, real world use case, uh, I'll switch a use case in that we need we will build a Jaffer, Jaffer virtual Jaffer as a virtual machine for hypervisor like Acon. So, in the in this use case. Uh, so first, uh, if someone is new to Acon hypervisor, so quick introduction is, uh, Acon is a type one hypervisor that basically runs on uh, bare metal hardware. And it, uh, so uh, in our use case, it uh, built Jaffer, it needs two VMs. One is a pre-launch VM that uh, Jaffer, we want to build Jaffer as a pre-launch VM. And there is a, uh, uh, we want to build a custom Linux based image as a service VM. So uh, for that, 
we want to build so what we want to do we want to build the both the images using a single build so uh to do that uh, uh you have to provide a concept called multi configuration so in that uh, multi configuration is a way we can we using a single command we can build multiple images for different boards uh, uh different boards at the boards uh, the it, the images can be for different architectures so uh, to do that we need to create manually a multi configure uh, uh multi conf file uh, sorry multi conf directory under conf and for we need to create two for our, for our use case we need to create two conference file one is for jifer and one is for service vm so for example here sos is for service vm so for jifer configuration so we need to keep our conference so machine is we are building for jifer uh, for a cone board so jifer board should be a cone and machine configuration set to uh, intel x64 and the distro is jifer so this is the only configuration we need in jifer and there is another variable as, so local dot conf configuration is common to for both uh, the multi conf files so using bb multi config variable we are going to tell uh, uh, the build system it is a multi config build and in it to uh, take care for uh, what are the uh, configurations we are so what are for it need to build for different configurations okay so as well as in jifer these are the configuration names that we have created and this is a configuration that is for required for to build a customized linux image as a service vm so to do that actually it have it, it require two more layers that is meta intel and meta icon layer so uh, so this config is the machine config comes from meta intel and the distro icon board icon scenario that comes from meta icon these are icon specific configurations so this is the necessary configuration so at the end of uh, this configuration actually will make sure the jifer image the jifer build is completed before uh, the uh, uh, service vm build is completed so once the jifer image is created it will uh, it will install into the boot partition of the service vm okay so now the configuration is set just using a single command we can build both the images and also deploy the jifer in the service vm in the boot partition so bit break and mc mc is for multi configuration so and sos is service configuration and this icon image base is, is a, a service vm target image name so once the build is successful and uh, in this example i uh, use case i'm building for tiger lake so once the image is ready so flash it boot it then switch to icon yocto then once the icon console is up it should list both the say because we this uh, jifer we are running as a cftvm and uh, this customized linux image as service vm so it should list both the vms so i have a demo so i will switch to that okay so icon is up and now we are listing the vm list using so we can see this both safety vm and service vm both are up and running and icon cons allow us to log in and the two so we can see whether they are both the vms are actually running so here you can see uh, service vm is running and now we will go back to uh, icon cons mode later Now we will see um, 
the status of uh, Jaffer VM. Yeah, so here we can see uh, is our Jaffer is running and we can see hello world icon and for 3.6.0 version. So I'll stop it here and I'll go move back to slides. Okay, so that was the use case. So this is the end of the slide. So in that, uh, if if someone want to contribute in Metajai failure, they can send patches to Yocto dash patches at the rate list Yocto dot or mailing list. But uh, the subject prefix for that patches should be with the Metajai file. And and any issues found that can be reported at Pugzilla dot That was the last slide, and. Now, if you have any questions, please let us. Hi, thank you for your presentation. Uh, is there a specific use case for using Yocto over the basic West build system? It seems like West is great for most cases. What, was there a specific case that your team needed the Yocto uh, build system to make yourselves more efficient? Yeah, so that was the first use case I just shown in my use case that we we had a um, Yocto build environment for building the VMs for Econ. So we wanted to use the similar infrastructure to build the Jaffer. So in that Meta Jaffer came handy. So that was actually we actually this is the real case that it, have, it we use at Intel. And uh, another is uh, sometimes uh, if some stuff, someone want to use the latest build tools for testing Jaffer. For example, if you see the Jaffer currently, it supports GCC 12, but Yocto have the latest have GCC 13. So it will be if someone want to we you know test the latest build tools, it can be handy. So, okay, thank you. Any other questions? Check the chat real quick. And I do not see any questions in the chat just yet. So, no, I think we're done with questions. Thanks. Okay. So. So we can stop the session here. Yes, thank you very much. For thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining this.